Hello Aquarius, how's everybody doing? We are here with your beginning of June reading. Before we get started, let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated, and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. Okay, so we have the Eight of Swords in the pre-shuffle and also the Two of Cups, so there can be something on your mind about partnerships, but it can be something that's like worrying you or something that you're having anxiety over or something that you keep thinking about, something along the lines of that. I was also seeing, um, I'm hearing Neptune. It's the hanged man, which symbolizes Neptune. I was seeing the hanged man and also temperance, which may mean that you are you are going to be arriving at a conclusion, but you may not be there yet. So it seems like you're realizing something, but you may not be at the point of fully actualizing this yet at this point. My name is Gabriella. For anybody new, I am an Aquarius sun. My Mars is also an Aquarius. All right, let's see what's going on here. All right, we're starting off with the Six of Pentacles. I see the Six of Pentacles as being kind of like our template for what an exchange looks like, whether this be, it's any type of relationship, and it's kind of like the energy that's passing between two seemingly like separate objects or entities. It can be two different people, it can be you with a job. Um, you with another person, you with your pet, you with your family, all of that. It like encompasses all of our relationships because it's like one energy and what flows to another energy. And usually within this, there is sort of this like ingrained blueprint of if I'm in the most ideal exchange with another being in a particular situation, what does that look like? what do I want? So you're over here thinking about your standards and your values and what you want and trying to make that happen. This is you being like, I know what I bring to the table, or at least I know a lot of what I bring to the table. And I'm also looking for somebody to be compatible with that when it comes to what they give. This is a desire to create reciprocity and this is going to look different for each of us because we each have different values and different standards so this is about like finding yourself in situations because you've been actively manifesting a sense of balance so this can be like work-life balance this can be you wanting to be paid for what you're doing you wanting to be compensated for what you're doing this can be you wanting a partner within a relationship that's going to be showing up in a way that's compatible to the way that you show up somebody that like meets your needs meets your expectations somebody participating in a balanced way so we're gonna get further and see like what area of your life this is connected with it seems like something more personal like more internal this also means that there's import an importance on you evaluating your values and also expressing them that's why the magician is here this means I've thought about it and I'm also going to communicate that as well because people can't read your mind and you can't read other people's minds for the most part. This is about making it normal to have open dialogue and communication with somebody. What it looks like is that there have definitely been situations that you've been in before where as much as they may have been heartbreaking, it would have also informed you a lot more on what your values are. So as much as this can be hard to experience, it looks like a lack of speaking up or maybe even realizing on your end what your values were. It's allowed you to now have a more clear picture of what they look like and how you want that to play out within a relationship. So even though I'm seeing um, pain that you've experienced, 
there's a sense of wisdom that you've gained. And I'm seeing that you've even realized the drawbacks of you not communicating things or maybe even like not processing things or not realizing things or not having certain open dialogues with people. This can also be, it's so easy. The way that I'm explaining it now, it may seem so obvious and objective, like, like, of course, that would lead to to an issue if somebody's not talking about their values and their expectations. But it like really sneaks up on you so subtly because you can be in a situation where you find yourself to be an easygoing person and you're like, maybe I'm OK with that. But it's kind of like a yellow flag. And then you're like, maybe I'm also sort of OK with that. Or like, I really love this person. So I'll let that slide, too. And before you know it, you're like, this is not meeting my needs at all in any way, shape, or form. And now I have an attachment to this person. And I'm in a situation where I'm attached and I don't want to leave or I don't want to disconnect from this person. But I'm also in pain here too. Definitely. Of being like, in my head at least, I have these like expectations of what a partner would look like to me. And I'm seeing, like, you've definitely been in situations where that hasn't played out in the way that you wanted it to. But it's, like, now fortified something for you. But there may still be, like, some disappointment that you're reeling from still. I'm seeing your guides be like, use the pain that you've experienced as a catalyst to know where to direct yourself within this situation so you don't have to experience this again. The thing is that like pain can be a really amazing teacher. It's like if you're going to experience pain anyway, at least use it for something where it's going to be valuable to you rather than being like, I want to avoid that because it hurts. It's like, no, face this so you don't have to do it again. Recognize it so you don't put yourself in that position again or so you do things differently this time or so you see things in a different way than you had been seeing them before understanding when something is problematic, understanding when your intuition is speaking to you, when to listen to it, and how to take action based off of that. This is a moment that you can learn from. These have been experiences that you can learn from, but it's going to take strength. You may be at the point where you're like considering opening your heart again, and then there's that part of you that's like, but it really hurt the last time that we did that. Yeah, I'm seeing definitely like a sensitivity, but I'm also seeing you have a very big heart here too. Like I'm seeing the softer side of you that because you're able to go that deep and because you are so sensitive and in tune, that's also why things have hurt so much in the past as well. So it's actually really a beautiful thing. This is a big part of your healing, you opening your heart back up. Also, too, for some of you, there could have been issues with um, loyalty when it came to a partner, definitely. And that could have been something that really stung, cut deeply for you. Because I'm definitely getting, like, a very loyal heart. It's going to take courage to open back up after what you've experienced, but I'm definitely seeing you be capable and wanting to. It's just about being willing to move through this. Voicing your values is going to be very, very important for this chapter. Very important. So that means knowing what they are. It means thinking about it too. And the thing is as well that, like, before you enter into a relationship, you may not know all of what your, like, values and your boundaries are and all of that stuff. You come in with as much as you know, and then while you're in the relationship, you're actively, like, working on those things. So it's about being present to what's going on. So you can end up building what you want. Because I'm seeing these, like, this desire for stability and this desire for something to be aligned with your values so you can actually feel safe and stable and secure with another person 
but you're not going to feel stable and safe and secure and happy if something is misaligned when it comes to your values. So that's why knowing your values, that's why it's so important to know. Because if you don't have that, you're always going to feel like you're reaching for something that's not there because it's a person that's not compatible with your values. So that's why this is so important and that's why this is the first card coming out. That's the basis of this entire spread. Definitely about having the courage to speak your mind and speak your heart. For some of you also, you may have gotten into a situation with somebody where it came down to it and you finally did voice your values and you experienced pain based off of that. I'm seeing you envisioning this thing that you want, but you may feel like it hasn't fully materialized yet for you. Like there are almost pieces of it that you haven't maybe like seen for yourself, but you can feel it and you know what it looks like. It just may be something that you haven't yet seen within this lifetime. You're going to be just fine. I'm seeing some really, really, really difficult stuff here that's associated with, like, your deep past and also things that have deeply psychologically impacted you. And I'm also seeing this sense of, like, courage and valiancy and the ability to persist on your end and not, it's not only the ability because you're capable of, it's the willingness. That is the key piece of this. Because without that, you can have all of the abilities and capabilities in the world. If you're not applying them with the sense of willingness, they're not being put to use. They're not being exercised. So I'm seeing you kind of submerging yourself into the unknown and I'm seeing also that you're going to come out on the other side successfully it's kind of like this you have to like travel during the the night I'm seeing the moon there's like something that you have to work through but then I'm seeing you come out on the other side of it this looks like deep deep water energy which is even you doing like subconscious work that's associated with pain and maybe things that had deterred you beforehand from opening up that now I'm seeing you really come out on the other side of and also feeling like you're strong enough like I'm seeing this be a situation where you're really showing yourself that you show up that you can show up and that you're willing to show up it's almost like once that thing clicks for you and once you realize I'm seeing things become very, very easy. It's just like downhill from there. I'm seeing you get to a point as well where you're feeling much more sure of yourself and what you're looking for within the 3D, what you're looking to build, what you're looking to connect with. So that's becoming more obvious and apparent. So this means I'm realizing consciously what my values are and that is going to allow me to feel safe and secure in a relationship. I'm learning to manifest my previously subconscious energy into conscious awareness and bring that through. I'm learning to communicate even though I've been hurt before and I'm coming out on the other side of it. I'm reframing the experience and I'm also rewriting the storyline. And I'm having the courage to show up and to get things moving rather than staying stagnant. I'm moving with the flow of things. I'm looking at 
Mercury, Pisces, and Leo. You've been spending time reflecting on this for sure. Like figuring all of this out, which it seems like it's been quite a process for you. It really does seem like you suffered through a truly heartbreaking battle, but I'm seeing you cross the finish line here. And it even looks like something is opening up for you. Opportunities are opening up for you. Before you may have felt blocked from planning things or building in a certain way and now I'm seeing something become available that hadn't been available before based off of the timing. Like you could have felt like you were ready but it was like the universe wasn't ready yet. Temperance, it's been taking a lot of patience. You're moving into a very auspicious time. To have the Eight of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune come out after that, this is you moving into a time where you feel like there's just this sense of luck that you're traveling with. Very, very auspicious energy to be walking with. Because Jupiter, the Wheel of Fortune, it represents like blessings and you being watched over and protected and um, like things happily happening upon your path, things that you want. Things that maybe you didn't know how they would fall into place and then it ends up like walking right across your path. I'm hearing something about things appearing. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing you be ready emotionally. Emotionally very ready. Like there's a sense of principle here. And there's also a sense of self-mastery internally and emotionally that I'm seeing that it seems like this whole process has been getting you prepared for and to the point of. So you're looking very, very grounded here, which is a great space because it looks like there's going to be a new chapter that's opening for you where things are going to be falling into place and you're going to find that the timing is right, that it is aligning with what you want. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everybody for tuning in. Thank you for connecting. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing, and I hope to catch you guys next time.